All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about Tesla. I have the five day chart up and we are going to talk about this range right here. Your trading range over the last five days has been from 238 all the way up to 250. I don't want to be a buyer anywhere in between. I want to wait for a move, whether it's retracing back to 240 or going up to 251. If Tesla makes that move this week on Friday, 241 up to 250, that's a 4% move. I'm going to be looking to short anything on the 250 to 251 range until it proves that it can get past these resistance points, which is right here, there's resistance. There is also right here. And then lastly, but not least, we have right here as well is your resistance. So looking at this resistance right here, this whole area, right here, right here, and then right here. And where's your supply zone? Right here in this 238. When you look at Tesla on the six month chart, you can clearly see that there is support at this 238 level. Now, how did this how did this part right here bounce at 238? Just zoom out to the six month mark, and then you can clearly see right here there was support at 238, and then also right here there was support. That was your telltale sign that 238 was a potential bullish, at least support to at least scalp or play. And you did have that come in handy. So you have support here, support here, and now it's hitting the support. If this support breaks, it's very difficult to predict where Tesla's gonna go. Because even if you track it down here, it gets kind of messy, like maybe a whole 200 number because you have support here, resistance right in this area, resistance here, and then more resistance here and here, and then this could potentially retrace all the way from 240 down to 200 would be a 16% negative move. I personally don't think this is going to happen. What I think is going to happen is if we just go on the one month chart, we were just 299. Tesla was $300 a share. We were traced all the way back down to 238. That's 20% move right there. 20% down. Do I think Tesla is going to give a bounce? Absolutely. I think Tesla is going to make a move if we can break the 250, we have to get through this trading range. Now, let me just bring that up again, just because for some reason it's not showing. And I want to just be clear for everybody watching. This is your resistance. And your support is, like we said, at the 238. If we can break 250, which is going to probably take longer than a week. If you can break 250, your next move is going to be up to 260, 262. And just going back, you can see the levels of support. So let me just draw it right here. You can see right, right in here, your 260 is like your next level with support right here, resistance here. But Tesla's got to get out of this range of 238 to 250. Let it decide what it wants to do. Don't be just trying to blindly buy this and see where it's going to go. Let the market make the move and then figure out the range and then trade the range. Right now, Tesla was doing 242 up to 250. 245 up to 250 and then 241 up to 250 so let the trade come to you let's wait for 238 let's see if we can play long off this if it fails dramatically let's just go short just go short because at 238 and below there's nothing <laughs> there's literally nothing i'm trying to look even on a five-year chart and this looks really messy so let me just clear this up a little bit let's get rid of all these lines where could we go if we broke 238? Realistically, back down to 200, 210 at most. And the reason I say that is because you got a little support here and a little resistance here, and this is a 210 range. So if 238 breaks, I mean, we're just, we're headed downhill here. So it's definitely something to look into. Just beware, play that range, play the 238 up to 250 short, and then go from there. There's definitely a lot of opportunity here. But let Tesla's trade come to you because it moves so much that if you can get the bottom and go long, you can swing it for points. Because even just on the one day chart, 238 all the way up to 244, 243. That's six points in one day. And then going short from the 244 down to 241, three points right there. 
So just be patient on Tesla. It gives the swings, but you got to wait for the support and the resistance areas.